Bye. So I'm gonna take the rest of the week and play Alan Wake, and then uh, try to see if I can finish up the final draft. I think anyone who plays games knows uh, what happened with the voice actor for Alex Casey. Um, he passed away. Um, so I just wanted to uh, play the game the rest of the week. You know, um, I actually never got to play Max Payne. Um, I know someone that likes that game a lot, and I've watched them play it quite a bit. Uh, one of these days I, I do want to play it. It's not a game I don't want to play. Um, I just never got around to playing it. You go back to the apartment. No, the tower. So, apologies to anyone who is, like, not a big fan of Ellen Wake. I know a lot of people have complaints that it's not, like, there's not enough fighting, there's not enough combat, it's boring, it's a movie, it's not a game. Yada, yada, yada. I get it. Like, you don't have to like it. No one has to play it if you don't like a game don't play it you know um i also get that most of the people that follow me or are subscribed on youtube watch the resident evil stuff more sorry if like that's your thing and you're like oh she's playing alan wick again this is getting annoying i'm sorry i'm just playing because i like it and uh i'm gonna play a game i like Sometimes, you know, that's just the way it works. Um, I know that's not how the algorithm works. Like if you play games that people aren't into or whatever, um, or aren't trending, you're not going to get as many views. And I haven't been really getting a whole lot of views, um, compared to like the Resident Evil stuff. I mean, in general, I'm new at this, you know, so that's to be expected. I'm going to go ahead and just because I like the game. You're welcome to go to YouTube and check out my Resident Evil stuff or whatever else if you want. Um, but I will be getting back to Resident Evil, I promise, and Control. I just wanted to play the rest of the week, maybe, you know, just in honor of the voice actor and uh, also because I want to play the game. Okay, I'm done talking. Ooh, the phone the was ringing again. Sorry, the phone. Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. Over here. It's over here. Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. Adi had guided me there. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue.
I had to go to the nursing home. Made myself more coffee so I would um wake up a bit more. <clears throat> Sorry. I wonder how many times I say sorry. A lot. Ugh. God. <gasps> oh my god. Dude. Uh-oh. Run from these guys. Let's see, I'm gonna try. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh! Yeah. Has anyone ever tried to outrun a wolf? It's probably not a thing you can do. Video game or not. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. Oh. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Ooh, thanks guys. Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone. But Wake was gone, in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit, then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. You can ring the doorbell or knock on the door? I rang the doorbell the last time. Just getting the... Oh! Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh... The, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. Okay. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I think I missed that the first time. Walk around the rocking chair. <laughs> I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. I wouldn't there be ammo in the nursing home? Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything. Saga, this way. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of snacks. Oh, thought I'd lost you. Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? <laughs> I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. 
I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Tor and Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. I like how people treat elderly like children. It's good for them to have company. Kind of weird. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Oop. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs, but your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter <clears throat> what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't <laughs> say stuff like that. <laughs> Have you seen the way Tor has been slobbering over Cynthia? He's like a horny teenager. Uh, like what's a... wrong with a, a little romance at our age? Is that a phone? I never noticed that before. Huh. Ati, this is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. <laughs> I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it Ooh. again. Girl, girl, for the want of the beetle's notes, why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, I'm just gonna box walk over the, the just chair. Just thinking about it makes my dance foot waggle. Look at that, I know. <laughs> Name won't make the man birch. Even a Swedish name. I'm Art. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers. Old gods of Asgard. My pals. Brickele Vikings. Brickele. <laughs> Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Were you in the band? Minak? No, no. Brickele Satana and Olwen. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach, but uh, we have shared a stage or two. Aye, aye, the song revives the song. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good song. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. 
Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? It's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. You said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Nothing is not good for you, and hurry is not an honor. My cat is being a little turd right now. Per usual. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. What's in the wellness center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round the clock care. To stay young, stay limber. I thought Archie put on a wonderful performance this afternoon. But you're always calling him a crazy fit. I respect the arts, Norman. <laughs> Hello, Yako. Looks like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Coffee. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Maybe it's coffee. Starbucks. Did you just drink a regular brand coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey. What? What's that sound? Oh. Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? Oh. I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear Donna Coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee <laughs> World and the old dear <laughs> diner. And don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. As a shrine. Oh, there's the weird fan art that you see on Tumblr. What? Say, be my light in darkness, Rose. Okay. <laughs> Rose is funny, man. That one with the scarf. He's wearing glasses in there. Oh, yeah, he is wearing glasses, right? I've never seen that one before. That's pretty funny. He's got the the scarf. It looks like um. Oh, I can't think of it. Doctor Who. The old one. He had that long scarf. The Alex Casey books. The standee. Did anyone go in the back of theaters and try to get the... The standees and the posters and stuff that they throw out? More of those kids' lunch boxes. Oh. I know the mirrors are... Really distorted. Creepy. Deer. That's a good deer. I gotta sneeze. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. I'm all done. Hopefully. Okay. I wonder how many deer are in here. I don't think it's an achievement for the deer. 
got to be some kind of uh, thing with the deer. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot I shouldn't for interrupt teens. Him. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. <laughs> the future is... <clears throat> oh. The future? So, the teens would drink there. Do okay. other stuff that isn't appropriate content <laughs> for you listeners at home. It's a bunk I forgot the dude's name. They, they searched the bunker and he was in the original. Were floating in one of the flooded passages. Yeah, the radio show. He had a real talent. Can I go this way. Yeah, right. Oh, Tor. This is Tor's room. This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? Guys love their moonshine. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Sweating with the oldies. Oop. Breakfast is at seven. Tomorrow will be eggs, toast, grapefruit, orange juice, tea, coffee. Service stops at nine. It's a lot of liquids. At Eleven. Tomorrow is borscht. With it's an early breakfast, too. Holy crap. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Urgent blanket. Or is it something just... more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks, and so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born <clears throat> travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. 
What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. <laughs> the Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can <clears throat> feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. Mm. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Oh. Oh, wait. Tor and Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. Behind on these. Hmm. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Okay. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Um, what does that say? Well, the cult has uh, been trying to recruit them for years. He and Odin rejected all of their offers. Um, who's involved? Get them all. Back to Wake while wearing tear masks. <clears throat> Cole tried to kill Alan. Psychology? Our goal? Why do they want to kill Wake? <clears throat> Our lunchbox? Hmm. Right Falls? Right, folks, is right here. Who's making these? Right. 
Uh, yeah. I kind of want to work on this one, actually. Oh, did I? Uh, ooh, two shots. Yes, please. Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream? Nice. Earlier, I was saying there's no blanket on him. Like, he's just got his shoes on still, and... Oh. I read these the first time. That woman in the painting looks like mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? Okay, I think I gotta go yeah, talk to Rose. It came out in bubbles. Oh god, no. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. Notice the water. Got me the first time. You know what creepy room that is. Get in, in this for reason. For your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand the thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Nope. And I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> he like creeps up on you. Yeah, I can't get any in. Okay, see you out there. Thanks for scaring me. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Rose. Tor is in the wellness center, isn't he? No, <laughs> he's, well, yes. But you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI <coughs> business. But it's just... There's some things that, uh... <coughs> yes, okay. I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Odin said Tor needs help, but from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Mm. Right. Oh, I can't do those yet. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. You see the floor? This place is thinking. And it's like it's like my place. Leaking ceiling. Supposedly they fixed it. I guess I'll find out. Ooh, that dark fast. Got the map. Or dark. Empty. Be ready, Saga. Manuscript? Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. 
That Weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song, a gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. <clears throat> Alright. My throat is bugging me today. I'm so sorry if I keep clearing it. I know that's annoying. <clears throat> Nothing in there? Nope. He's hurt pretty bad. But he tore off his bandages. Why? And they say they had, in the first game, they said they had, um, dementia. Tor was here. Clues available. Saga. Oh. They bust you out. What did it say? Darn it. I didn't see it. Nope. Or is it a signed bed? It's empty. <laughs> oh. Tor is being targeted. He needs help. Where's that one? Oh, I think I remember what that one is. The story, that's the one I can't do yet. There's a computer you gotta look at. That's not until later, I think. Must be locked from the other side. What's that? Did I knock that down? I came from there. Oh. I keep hear knocking. lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Sorry. Bathroom. Door needs a knob. A security mm. computer. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. Password. <clears throat> 
the Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Day and month. What is that the number for the... Um... This month everything will change. Bad day. This is a stupid house where something always breaks. I fix. I always fix. Old people do not respect me. I should ask for a race. I had to take care. Oh, that was the raccoon. Uh, a, my acceptance. Okay, so. 815? Is it always like a good day? So that would. Oh, God, no. The calendar! I forgot about this. Okay, so they go by European. Uh, what was the significant? It was like August, right? August. Yeah, August 17th. Isn't it? I think. 17th. But it's European. Uh, so a month is not before. Year. Sorry. Month is not before. <laughs> month is not before that day. Like normal. It's the day before the month. What is that noise? I keep hearing stuff. Okay. It's August. And then this year. And the doors are open. The first time I played this, I forgot to look. There's mail. I forgot to look at it. It tells you about the doorknob. Uh, I'm a little door... Oh, wait. No, what? I'm a little doorknob? Oh, it's a riddle. Yeah, that's... That's out of place. Let's solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private pl space. Uh, I meet you at the greet inside a bright, glassy cage. Yeah, so the doorknob's in a drawer by reception. By the desk. But she can't get in there until you get the stuff unlocked. Oh, and the riddle for it. This is the riddle for the rifle that's available. But I have a rifle already. I don't think I really need to get that again because I already got it the first playthrough. Why did you take the doorknob to my personal room? I am sick of old people tricks. You bring it back so I can get my rifle. I'm supposed to go on deer hunt tomorrow. If you don't, I will hunt you instead. Ooh. Vladimir. Uh, Vladimir. I do not need to remind you that Tor and Odin would be ideal candidates for the cult. Please try harder to recruit them. Bella Bella. It's... There's oh. Tor, and he's out of his mind. <clears throat> Need to get to him. Oh boy. Oh. Is it this way? This door's open, no worry. Here we go. There's a doorknob. So now I can get in that room. Wait. I'm getting a little confused, sorry. 
Confusion is my middle name. Residence area. Kind of wanted to go into the security room. Just bandages. Patient room, dispensary. Follow tour. Oh, right. He went into. Okay, rehabilitation. He went to that one area. He went over here. Oh. Alright. Shit! Not good. Need to catch up with Tor. Ah! <laughs> okay. This must have been Tor's. Oh. I don't know why it still gets me. I I played this. Already. Should have remembered. Uh, okay. Unless I can, goods. Is that cabbage? I used to have cabbage in here. Without it going bad. Examination. Secure. Um. No, it wasn't security then. Where was it? Was it the staff? Oh, here we go. Sorry. Brain fart. Ooh. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Koskula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its lights shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. 
We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Can't take it because I don't have space. Eh. Ooh. Poor thing. I want to know what's up with the deer. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go run back to the box. There it is. It's not that far. There's something down here. Wow, you get like a lot of health this time around. I don't know. Did I just really suck the first time I played this? I feel like I have a lot more health than I did the first time I played it. Here we go. Rifle. And now I can go. Okay, off to the overlap. That was a lot. I gotta go talk to Rose. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> Or is this the story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. Language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoebox. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Yeah, that's interesting, hey? Because Rose and Cynthia are very similar. Just another version of Cynthia. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. My god. You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Oh, giddy. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken. Sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to no tour. A way to find him. 
A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. L profile. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. I already took care of all this. Oh. Wow. Yep. Already got the answers to these. Oh, well, that was nice. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Oh, crap. Sorry. Doesn't look right. Oops. Wake told Rose to look for the hero. She won't help anyone else. Hmm. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? aren't available yet. Oh. Cult initiation letter addressed to Vladimir. Mm. Oh, Rachel? Mm. Who's involved? Call initiation later letter signed by Ilmo Ayako. Uh initiation. Oh. Oh sorry. It's not cool. Oh, get more than Yako. Oops. And the this. One. Odin, mom moved away with me, uh, because of Tor. Tor wanted to apologize, but never got the chance. Why did mom leave? Alright, that's it. Okay, back to... Oh, she got more questions. You communicate with Wake? So where is Tor? What happened? You should evacuate the residence. Uh, let's ask her about Wake. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places. Like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. 
If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him, how I can stay safe, good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately too, so he must be working on a new book. Exciting. <laughs> great, great. Uh, evacuate. Wake tells you how to kill Taken. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> you're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. <laughs> the tough part is hiding the bodies. What? I honestly don't know how to react to this. <laughs> Just doing my part, sister. She called her sister. <laughs> Did she just call her sister? Oh. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Mm. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome, Alan. Huh? Oh, okay. She forgot to take her meds. Isn't there a manuscript over here? Or am I confusing this with another part? Or later? Is there one in the bridge? Or did I get it? This is the problem when you play this multiple times? Is that you start to... Like, confuse parts with other parts. I think it is, like, later. Okay. Nursing home. I go back to the nursing home. They're all on the porch over here, I think. Ooh, the basement. I don't... Do it. Oh. Do I want to go in here yet? <clears throat> oh. Is that where she's hiding the bodies? Ew. I don't know if I want to go in there yet. Or do I have to go in there? I think I'm... Eventually. I always expect the TV to go on. Play something. That's only with Alan, I think. Well, she gets the commercials. Okay, the museum is up... Stairs, I think it's on the second floor. Oh, is this the porch? Porch, safe from what? It. Is boring. there anyone who didn't show up? <clears throat> A few. Archie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. <laughs> Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. 
Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. <laughs> you all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Okay. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh. Oh, crap. How did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, oh no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Um... And then you just continue knitting? Maybe you should stop now? Uh, okay. Ooh. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show anytime. Me and my listeners. I, I couldn't remember his name earlier. He was on the first one. That lady, man. Why Look at that. Not here again? Look at that we'll outfit. Oh, you're doing some stretches safe too now. What? I bet Tor is having one of his drunken fits again. Okay, I had that conversation. Uh, it's upstairs now. Yeah, that guy just walks around in a towel all the time. He never has clothes on. He's like forever in a towel. Whoa. Who's yelling? Oh. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. I don't know if I found that one the first time, or if that's a new one. I know they added manuscripts. Where is he? Been here. Okay. can't really talk to him. He's just flipping out. That's Donna's room. I think all the rooms I gotta go to are upstairs. Here we go. Pirate? Where's their pirate? Oh, the eye patch. Angus remorse. This is the one. 
Gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Dude, the jump scares get me. Still. Profile. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't finish. Aga's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Anger's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Dude, her face, man. Ooh. What? Where is Angus Remorse now? Beauty is a young girl in love. A broken brawl twigs it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. Alright, old lady's kind of creepy. I like how it says censored, in parentheses. It's censored a lot. I'm not reading these. I read these already. No more reading. What's that? Oh. Whoa! I didn't see that right away. Is there like another jump scare I'm getting? I'm trying to... prepare. Hi. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. <laughs> How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. <laughs> Is it? All right. Are you wearing his shoes now? Because I know you're wearing his janitor thing. Jumper thing. Finland. All right, see you later, Ati. All right, can't go in here. And 
we go to Cynthia's room? Oh, there was Gale. I haven't gone in here. I don't know if anything was in here. You got a microwave with some moldy pizza. Also. Oh. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leak started appearing. No Barry this time around. I wonder if we'll see him in the DLC later. But I keep forgetting about it. Uh. Key fob's no good without power. Oh, the power went out. Oh, you're oh God! Crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out! You can never know in which street the devil sits. What? The basement. Thanks. You're just gonna go back and sit? Okay. Uh. Uh. Basement. Okay. Basement. 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 Outside. Okay. Basement over here. I should have saved. Fob's no good without power. Right, 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 okay. It doesn't budge. as many more crappy old equipment keeps blowing them.
Manuscript. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Well. Fuse is blown. Maybe there are spares nearby. Ooh, same. I can't get through this. Another one? Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom. Yeah. Touching things. Touching everything. No. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He'd beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Wow. I don't want to go in here. Dude, no, no more jump scares, man. This isn't... This is the first time Tom and Barbara. Was there? No, I thought you could click on that. Oh. I don't. Okay. No clues in here. I don't think this has any of the clues. There's no numbers. Let's come back to it. Oh. What's this? The power's off. All right. Okay, come back. Do I have a map for the basement? I wonder if I missed that. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. 
What? Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close, to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. Well, that was terrifying. over here. Oh, two seven three. Uh oh. Okay. Two seven three. I have a shotgun. with the music. Get the power back on. I think I can just go... back on so I can go and check out that film. Okay, hang on. I want to go back and check that film out. I can't remember where that is. Is this something they watch on movie night? I don't think so. That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on?
The trailer? No, I gotta go back to Cynthia's room. Cause the lights went out. Or... Yeah. Oh boy. Ooh. Okay, at least I didn't scream this time. I did jump, but I didn't scream. Dark poem. Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected in motion. In his room, he will hurt her. In hers, he is caught. His story ends. Her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I had to feed my cats real fast so they wouldn't kill each other. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the dark presence? A power station. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. I feel like I'm missing some context here. Yep. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Tor's a romantic, huh? Tor, a very special woman. Whoa! So she was the one stealing all the fuses. A down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears, to corrupt them. I went down the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Plum, Plum, Plum to do it. He's too slow, but it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep up much longer. Alright, I'm not going to read all these because I've read them before. Yeah, she was obsessed with Tom, much like uh, Rose was obsessed with... Alan. Gotta be like another version of Rose. Or rather, Rose is another version of Cynthia? I don't know. Whoa. Um, is it? Uh, no, it's not. <clears throat> Um, okay. A bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. It's Rose, okay. Wait, what did it say? Wake has been in instructing her how to kill Tegan, okay. Um doesn't look right. When is this again? 
Who's been working for him? Who's involved? There we go. Oh, Cynthia. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Oops. I want the flashlight. Oh, uh, another one. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Oh, what happened? Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No. Better. She sank into dark water. Into Tom. Tom had enemies playing huh? against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. This is getting weird. Oops, I don't want to hit it. Okay. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Oh! Whoa! What's that door? Where'd she go? The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul, of my face forever. Seeking oh. oh. the overlap is on the pond. I'm gonna try and do this part and then I gotta quit. 
see if I can do it in a timely fashion. Probably not. Body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker. Nora, age 15. Gone too soon. Hotel and spa? Ocean view? Welcome to the ocean view. Yeah. This isn't real. Fuck this place. You were the drowned lady. This is sleeping. Am I going in circles? Yeah. I'm gonna go this way now. Does that make a difference? Yeah, it does. Bingo? Who's saying bingo? Grab... Grab it! What are you doing? I gotta hurry up! Ah! Oh shit, dude! Ah! I was so jumpy today, I'm sorry. Why can I... Okay. Who is banging? Oh man, I think I have to sneeze. No, I don't want to sneeze. I think it's passing. Oops. Dang it. No! The wall just disappeared. The light did that? Okay. Am I going? 
I don't want to go that way. Right? I go this way. Or do I need to go back? I wouldn't have saw that that was going the wrong way. It's oh, game saving. Like yeah. Yes. I need to reach the center. Cynthia. She's here. A dead end. Okay. Then we go this way. That way? Or that way? This way? Oh, stairs. Locked. The key has to be nearby. Okay, I think I gotta turn this light off and then... Or on. Now I gotta turn this light back on or off. Bolt cutters. And this part sucks. I remember this part. Hmm. Is this closed off? Oh, it was because I couldn't leave. I had to fight her. Okay. I just wasted battery. I didn't really have to do that, did I? Eh. And this was just the other side. I think.
writing a story. Random Alan appearance. Rib Nora. Back again. Yep. Gotta go deeper. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga! It's so damn dark down here. The water was taken. I'm underwater! She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Q! Where are you? In the dark. Ah. 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 Where'd she go? Dark water pressed itself into her. Like liquid club is mine. It is so dark! There must be a way to get the power back on. Okay. I feel like the grandma from Little Nightmares. Or the old lady in the water. She pushed her down. She got me good. I'm gonna see where I gotta I gotta go over there, I think. The nightmares were starting to close. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get out of the water. Yeah, I know. We gotta get over there. Okay. Okay. What's over there? Is it over there? Shit! Hurry up! Oh, 
Okay, this takes a little bit because you have to keep running from her. Afraid of an old lady before. Uh, oh, I put that. Ah, oh, I put that away. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! <laughs> I don't know if I'm going the right- I think I'm going the right way. Ah, okay. Oh, what happened? What? Just happened? I'm in the wall! No, I'm in the wall! What the fuck? Dude! Um... Uh... I... Uh, this... Nope. Is anyone seeing this? That's not right. Uh... That's great. Can I... Make my way out of here somehow? No. I'm gonna have to start over. I don't know where it saved last. Okay, that's really weird. Um. Can I... If I pause? No. No. Wow. All right. Um. Oh. Darn it! I'm gonna have to load from the last save. I think. Well, that was a really weird glitch. He did it. Is it saving? I'm not leaving you here, Tor. Hold on. Oh, there ain't no map down here. This is a dark place. Okay. Uh are they overlap? <laughs> I can't climb up there, I don't think. That's too high. Alright. Oh, I can! Oh, yes! Run! Oh god, 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 oh god! Here we go, game is saving. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. Alright, dude. Okay. Halloween. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Yeah, Gramps. Just hang on a minute. Where is she? Oh, <laughs> 
Getting punched by an old woman. There's like a way. Okay. There you. Where is she? you and you again the FBI, the FBI. saga Anderson I'm closer now I can feel it you help me get closer to escaping wake where are you is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped We can finish this. There's not the clicker. No, 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 you can help. We, we, we must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? Last in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? <laughs> nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. 
sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> Game is saving. Alright, so it's gonna start me here. I'm gonna quit now because I've been playing for three hours. My eyes are burning and I'm hungry. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can stream maybe every day this week just because I want to try and beat the game. And then I'll get back to my normal schedule. I know I haven't been playing the other games. But I'm gonna try and um, see if I can finish the final draft this week. Okay, people, thanks for chatting and stopping by. Uh, I'm really tired, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, I'm not drunk, I promise. Um, okay, I'll see you tomorrow or later or whenever. Bye!